I believe that the only excuse we have for being musicians is to make it differently. I don't want to uh, ghost you out or anything. We could have the window up a little bit, the uh, left one there. He is a kind of icon in the same way that James Dean is. I remember the feeling of, who is this guy? It's a machine. No, it's a human being. The minute that recording came out, conductors all over the world basically said, get me that pianist. Now, let me ask one question, and you need an answer. Glenn, everywhere you go, you have a special rug and a special chair, both of which look like something that fell off the back of a truck. Oh, it's a question of how far forward you sit on. So often, when an individual is so heavily endowed with a particular kind of genius, these other kinds of personality aberrations uh, come with that. But that's really but, what you're aiming to do, is to make people sit up on their seats from the first note and say, this is an event, this is a happening. Yes, Almost, a if you happening. want it in one word, yes. He was such a quirky, strange kind of guy for a classical musician. Was he very romantic? Sort of. I felt Ben was a bit like a, a glass house. If you threw stones at him, he would break. I had more or less left my husband, and I thought, well, yes, I am going to marry Glenn. And he wanted the children and, and me to come to Toronto. The fact is that Glenn became someone I ended up loving, adoring, very kind and sweet to me, and very avuncular in, in the sense that he was my Uncle Glenn in, in a re very real way. Why do people all over the world find themselves drawn to Gould? It's not just because he was a great player. It's because his life is itself a performance that people can't take their eyes away from.